So I'm with Jake Worthington. What's up? What's up? <laughs> so one of the people I uh, I really love the most. I shouldn't say the most on here, so I'm gonna. You're not going to use that, Chris, please. <laughs> but no, we're, we're just trying to get uh, a real good feel for you as a person. Okay? Sure. So Jake Worthington, you know, you, you've achieved some huge milestones this year. Um, you bought your first place, which I think is awesome. But yeah. take us back to really the, the very beginning of, of Jake Worthington before he even became a real estate agent. And now he's going to be a real estate agent. Like what, what was that transition and what made you jump into real estate? So, okay, so back when I, uh, you know, about a, six months before I was officially licensed, a friend of mine, Dave Donahue, said, hey, why don't you just give it a shot? And I had, it, you know, flirted with the idea a couple years before, but never did it. So I just went through the process, got the license, and I didn't know where to start, but I started at the same office as him as an individual agent. And it sucks when you got no, no help, right? And uh, I didn't know anything. I mean, I thought I could go in and... You know, everyone thinks, oh, I can sell a house. It's, you know, I'm going to get into real estate, make my own hours. You know, I'm on my own boss and I'm going to make money. And it's not like that. You sit in the office and you're like, okay, what do I do? Who, no one's calling me. How do I get people to call me? How do I get people to trust me to sell their house? How do I get training? How do I write a purchase agreement? I mean, you don't, there's so much to it that if you're not getting trained. And Dave helped me out a lot and he took me on appointments and, and introduced me to inspectors and different things. But, um, it's not anything like being on this team where you get, you know, help. And, uh, John just, I've known John for five years now and he just called me out of the blue and said, Hey, let's come check out a team meeting. I, I'd see you're on your own. Cause he saw me on Facebook trying and, uh, he just invited me a team to a team meeting and okay, so let, joined let's, right away. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about that process. So at that time you were working as a server as well. You know I, was, what I mean, yeah, so you had to yeah. have that supplemental income to make ends meet because you weren't selling enough in real estate. So, Oh yeah. I mean, I had no money. So you knew John and of course that's the John's heart, right? He comes out, he wants to help as many people as he can. He sees some great potential in you and you come from where you are now as an independent agent to our first meeting. How did you feel when you came to that meeting? So, well, like working in the restaurant environment, it's kind of greedy, right? It's like, I want this table. I want that table. I want this, 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 this. And when you walked into the team meeting, it was like, hug, love, everyone's, you know, hey, I love you, bro, love you, bro, hugging, hugging, games, we were playing trivia games, standing up, doing all this fun stuff. And I was like, man, I said, this is a, this is a cool work environment. And I mean, at the other office, I would just walk in, sit down at a desk and close the door. And I'm like, hmm, listening to music, don't know what to do by myself. But now, I mean, it was like 20 people you know, high five and hugging, learning. It was just, it was the place to be for sure. And at that moment, when you first came, did you have a real estate transaction under your belt yet? Just some, some showings, no, no transaction. And how many months had that been as an independent agent? Uh, three. So you were at three months, never had any business, never went through a transaction yet. And you come to this meeting, you're seeing us hugging and all that kind of stuff. So then after the meeting is over, what made, what made your mind and your heart say, man, this is the place I need to be. Uh, you know, my relationship with John, I always liked him. We always, you know, he was always fun to be around and I had a couple, you know, didn't realize it, but you know, Zach on the team at the time was, uh, we had worked the same job about eight years prior. So I kind of knew him and we had some mutual friends and just, I thought, man, this is, this is where I need to be because I can be around people. I can be, um, always learning. Like when I first joined the team, I sat next to Tony and there might not be a better human being on the planet at talking to people than Tony. <laughs> True that. And so I would just get to listen to Tony on the phone all day and how he talks to clients. And I'm like, man, this is, yeah. yeah okay. Now I'm learning. You know what I mean? And sitting next to Rachel who wrote about, and just, you know, sorry to my first few clients, but she wrote the offers for me. So, <laughs> <laughs> cause I needed to learn. So, yeah. um, and you did too, you wrote one for me. So I mean, that kind of thing. Like if I had a client that wanted to buy a house, you know, before I joined the team, I would have been like, I'm going to mess this up. Mm -hmm. But I had people there willing to help, you know, take time out of their day to help me. So if you're talking to uh, an agent that's watching this, that's an independent agent that's thinking uh, or maybe struggling or maybe wondering what is it really like here, our culture, like if you could describe it to somebody, what it would be like? I mean, it's family. I mean, when you got the boss who is probably the most busy person on the team, 
when he goes out of his way to hug every single person in the office every day when he first walks in. Like he won't, he won't let you walk away from him <laughs> without it. You know what I mean? Um, it's just a, it's a family. Everyone loves each other. Everyone's willing to help. I mean, Brooke also might be the most busy person in our office. And if you say, Hey Brooke, I have a question. She'll answer it. You know what I mean? She's handling whatever amount of files at once and she'll take her time out of the day. Uh, you'll take your time out of the day. If I'm on an appointment and, and I'm at, I, it's fortunately enough, I'm at that point where I've been on the team long enough where I can do that to people too. You know, some of the newer agents are asking me. Yeah. And, Cause you're a mentor uh, now, but talk to us about like, okay, how many months have you been here? Mm -hmm. And then what are you anticipated to do this year for yourself? So this is my 18th month on the team. So I was on the team for six months. Well, eight months last year, but really, you know, I was learning the first month or two. So, uh, 18 months on the team and what am I going to do this year? Sure. Um, and I'll do over 30 transactions and I bought a condo and I so. bought a brand new Jeep and it's just, and when I joined the team, I had no money. Like, like if my mom watches this, I had like less than $500 in the bank. Mom, I lied to you about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. So, so that's very, uh, that's really powerful stuff. I mean, if you, a transition to a whole life. Style. Oh, I mean, I was paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, for sure. It sucked. It sucks for sure. So why have, you know, why have you never been interested in the splits or care about any of that? Is that, do you, you know, people are watching this and say they're, they, they ask, what are the splits there? It's not important to us. Well, there's two, there's two things about that, right? So coming from the job that I was working before, I mean, that's why I'm so grateful on this team. When you work in the restaurant industry, you might, you might get a check for 75 bucks or a hundred bucks or 125 bucks. But if you sell a house for, you know, if you're on this team and you sell a house for 300,000, you're going to get a check for over five grand. I mean, that's when you get that check in your hand, you're like, man, you know how long it would have taken me to make this at the restaurant and you do it. <laughs> over the course of a few months and you're serving somebody and you get to hand them the keys when they walk into their house and you see the smile on their face and then they're hugging you and they love you and like you help them do this because it's not an easy job. You don't get paid to the very end. Like you're working with people for months and months and months and months for free and then you get paid. So it's not like a easy dollar like everyone thinks. And then the other part of it is I don't care about the split because if someone calls me to sell their house, I get the, the benefit of our team's brand. I get the benefit of... Um, my professional photography is paid for. My drone f footage is paid for. My Facebook boosting is paid for. My Zillow boosting is paid for. I think that's well worth the 50-50 uh, split in my in my opinion. Well said, well said. And then talk to us a little bit. We just got done with our team retreat. Okay, second annual team retreat. Um, what does legs mean to you? I mean, it's just, it's, it's, uh, it's the best way to describe what our team really sets out to do like we're not just here to put the sign in the yard like I was talking to a for sale by owner the other day and she said what do you think the price of my house is after I went and showed it to some buyers I said the price is a little high and she said well why is it why every I have other realtors calling me telling me that it's priced too low and that they can sell over higher I'm like that's just because they want to put their sign in your yard we're here to legitimately earn your trust by being honest with you, like the E in the legs, like we're not, it's not to earn money, it's to earn relationships and trust. You know, that we don't say the E for money, we say it for that fact. Great point. You know, we, we love all of our clients. Um, and then the other ones are more personal, like grow and so grow your business, grow, you know. Which I think you have. I mean, in 18 months I've seen you grow so much. Um, so you've yeah. always had confidence, but you, you've really, Jake, you've grown so much. Yeah, no, it's great. I mean, I, uh, so coming from being on those, you know, being a solo agent for three months and, uh, no one calling me to yesterday, three people, uh, called me and wanted to start looking at a house and they just called me because they've seen me on social media or whatever. I mean, I mean, I'm to getting nobody for three months too. Now people are just calling me, Facebook messaging me whatever. I mean, it's great. And I'm always here to, I mean, if anyone is my friend on Facebook and you have questions, then just ask me. I'm, you know, that's one of the things we love about Jake, but talk to me about Jake Worthington in three years. An assistant. <laughs> and I'm going to need an assistant because there's times where I'm like, man, I got so much going on. I got, I got to, I forget some things, which is not good, but you know, never, never like to affect my clients or anything, but 
um, three years, you know, I'll be 30. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be 30. Um, I want my car paid off. I want my condo almost paid off. Um, maybe I'll move out of my condo in three years. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm kind of just exponential growth is my, you know, the first year, I don't know, I did maybe 15, but it was half the year. Now I'm going to hit 30, you know, then I'm ho- hopefully, hopefully just growing it a little bit at a time, as many people as possible to serve. So send us off 25 year old agent watching this, been in the business for less than a year, not sure what to do. What's your advice? So, well, not even 25 year old agent, just 25 year old person. I mean, I'm a college dropout with no degree, no experience in real estate. And I just got into it and I'm learning from some of the best people, right? So you don't even have to be a 25 year old agent who's struggling. You can just be a 25 year old human who's struggling and just call our team because we have the, the foundation and the, the processes to, if you're willing to do the work, you'll be successful. And trust me, it's, it's fun work because you do get to create some of your own schedule. Um, we have a lot of things that we do, you know, team meetings and huddles and stuff that we have to be there mandatory, but I mean, I like after this, I'm about to go get some food at my own time, my own leisure. So, um, it's a great job. It's a great place to work. It's a great, you know, mentors like Todd to work for. So if you're a 25 year old agent or just a person looking for a new career, I mean, just pick up the phone, give us a call. Like, don't be afraid to do it because we're here to help.